I'm gonna do a quick video showing you guys how to break down and unjam your T50 Aero Stapler. Uh, this is a fairly simple process, but it can be kind of confusing for a first time user. And uh, this should work for most other staplers as well. The concept should be about the same. So first off, you're gonna have a bolt here on this side. So as long as you have some pliers, you'll be good on that one. And then you have a Phillips and a flathead screw here on this side. So as long as you have a Phillips and flathead screwdriver, you'll be good. So those are the only two things you're gonna need. So first you wanna take out your spring and we can set that off to the side. And then you're gonna take your pliers with the bolt and you're gonna grab onto it. And then you're gonna take your screwdriver on the other side and you're just gonna loosen it up until it comes out. I'm gonna do this by hand because it's kinda of hard to reach around the camera. So when that bolt comes out, you set those off to the side and then this tray, which I'll unzoom here. And then you're gonna pull this out just like that. And there you go. And that's the tray where all your staples are gonna stay. So all your staples will be in here and then your jam will most likely be right up here. So you'll wanna take a needle nose pliers or some sort of pliers, you'll fix that, pull that out, and then you'll be good to go. And then you'll be able to put it back together, which is the exact reverse. You'll just put that up there, push this in, and then line those holes up there on the bottom. So they are. And then you're gonna take your bolt and you're gonna put it right through. And you'll take your nut and put it back on. And then do the same thing. You'll just take your pliers and then tighten it up. So there you go. Everything should be working as it should now. You can put your staples in, put your spring back in, and you're good to go. So like I said, fairly simple process, just a little bit confusing for those that have never done it before. So if this video helped you out, let me know in the comments. I hope it did uh, and made it a little bit easier of a process, not having to fiddle with this so much or getting frustrated like I did for the first time. So if you guys enjoyed it, I appreciate it. If you leave a comment, like it, and I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.